Hello again, this is part two of my talk. Uh, in the last talk we installed um, DNS on the um, vCenter server. We also installed the uh, vSphere client which we uh, had some difficulty with the dependencies but we got that sorted. Um, <coughs> we installed uh, ESX server 1 uh, and in, in this part two we're going to be installing the second ESX server and also um, installing vCenter itself onto the server as well as um, installing OpenFiler. Let's get those installations kicking off in the background. First thing I want to do here is check that it actually mounts the ISO before we boot. <coughs> Okay, let's turn that on. Okay, and while that's going, we'll also set up the open file one as well. Version 2.3 is the version we're installing here. And I'm going to turn on that one as well. Okay, so welcome to the SX installer. You've already seen most of this, so I'm probably going to breeze through it reasonably quickly. Okay, let's go back to the open file installation. Going to skip testing of the media. Okay, how far have you got? So you've loaded the system drivers, which is good. I don't have a serial number. We've only got one network card in here at the moment, so that's what we're going to do. Let's put in the network settings. doesn't matter about default gateway, we're not doing anything with it. It does matter about primary DNS though, that is going to be pointing to the virtual server. <coughs> okay, data lost, that's fine, we haven't got anything on the hard drive at the moment. Okay, now that install is now kicking off. Exactly the same sort of thing. For the moment, we've only got one hard drive in here. Okay, the IP address of this machine is going to be that. Remember our machine is sitting down here. The name is this. Oh, if I could spell, missed out the L. is of course pointing to the vCenter server it's fine we don't need a default gateway that's where we are we almost never need to use that password because it's all done through web administration <coughs> Now that install is now going to continue on going. This install is now going on. Now let's really tax the machine by also installing 
vCenter server. So I'm mounting the ISO. One thing that I'm going to check is whether um, the PC has the minimum requirements, and it, it, it doesn't at the moment. It only has, if I can just bring up Task Manager, it's only got about 380 something megs of RAM. Yeah, 384. So, what I'm going to do is shut the virtual machine down and power up with some more RAM. Now, I've seen machines with about a gig of RAM do fine. So what I'm going to do um, is shut it down and give it a 1.5 gig of RAM upgrade. fact because I'm horribly impatient I'm just going to maybe I won't I'll give it a chance to shut down properly but it better be quick otherwise I'm just going to power it off <laughs> getting close and down it goes okay so I'm just waiting for it to fully power off still actually going at the moment okay so it's fully powered off now and I can get to the settings option as you can see it's only got that amount of RAM so let's give it a little upgrade and then power on the VM again I'll wait for that to come up. Let's see how the other screens are doing. Let's get in there. That's almost done. Over here, it's about 30% done. A vCenter server is on its way up as well. Just going to put it on pause until it comes back up again. Okay, the server's now come back up. Let's log back on again. Here you go, the open file or install is finished, so I'm going to click reboot on that. And I think ESX has finished too. And note the web address there that we're going to be logging on to in a second and testing it from. I should reboot in a second. Yep, there it goes. Okay, now while both of those are reloading, let's install um, vCenter server. I've already mounted the ISO. Okay, that's open file is still loading up. That's ESX loading up. Gonna pause it there until it gets to the next dialog box. Okay, let's click next. I agree. We don't have a license key. We're gonna install uh the express version of SQL Server. 